Hey tea heads, this is Swala. This is Saika. This is Will from Mayleaf. In this video, we are dipping into Don's private collection and playing some games. If at any point in time you're enjoying this video, then make sure you hit it with a like. And if you're not following us on all of our socials, go click with this button. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, that's good. I okay. like it. Okay. Mayleaf crew in the house. They're going to be doing some games. They're going to be doing some challenges and you guys out there are going to get a chance to win some of the teas that they're going to be tasting today. But first of all, introductions. We are going to introduce you to these lovely people by telling you or revealing their tea mirror. So Sayaka, introduce yourself and your tea mirror, please. Okay, um, this is Sayaka. I'm an essential duck shit astronaut picking berries in Tibet at twilight. Hi, I'm Smala and I am a magic midnight sun singer sleeping in Costa Rica at midnight. Hi, I'm Will the Barman and I am a deep amber mountain drinking cartoonist making music in Havana at 11am. Mm -hmm. mm. 11am? Why 11am? Uh, because that's normally when I wake up. <laughs> As Unless I have a shift at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we are going to start with our first challenge. The first challenge is called Guess the Tea. Alright, before we begin, you need to choose your cups and you can choose a tea pet, so go. Alright, All right, put them down. <laughs> but I don't want to put them down, they're perfectly healthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. Who's black? Me. Red, blue, blindfolds. All right. All right. The game here is guess the tea. Do you want to have a sniff of those wet leaves? Will, oh. first, have a little smell. You can work together here, Svala. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. And so. Are we allowed to start? You can start cooking. talking. You can start. Mm -hmm. you, this is a group effort, so you're. It smells like, to me very. No. Yeah, green, but like a ball green. or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's very sweet. Yeah. So a green ball rolled what? Oolong. Okay, ball rolled oolong. Um, it smells a bit like um. Superior, I got it. Yeah. Just tea going Is here. it? Yeah. Really? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I thought it was actually the black tea. <laughs> Did you? Uh, <laughs> okay, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves and see what you think it could oh, be. Oh, I can mm. see why you said black tea, but. But it's not. I it's think I'm going to stick with the. Take one in, kind of mm -hmm. light oolong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's roasted, definitely. Roasted oolong, okay. But must be like a medium or light oolong. Taiwanese or Chinese? Mm, that was what mm. I was gonna say. I think Taiwanese. Yeah, but yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna differ. I, I'm gonna say Chinese, mm. but I could be wrong on that. I feel like it's some kind of roasted tiaguanyin. But okay, take the blindfolds off. Take a look at the leaves. See if that gives you any more. Oh, it's well, hell. Oh yeah, yeah. it's definitely it's a new yin, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's Can I see the sure. leaf? Will, why don't you show the camera those leaves? Bring it really close to the camera. Hold it there. So everyone can get a good guess. See those steamy leaves? Hopefully All right. Steaming up. So I want as much detail as you possibly can, Mayleaf crew. So I think... What are you saying? Are we saying it was, you're definitely saying it's an oolong, right? Yeah, definitely an oolong. I think after some, some little deliberation, Maybe it is, it's Taiwanese, I think they're, they're all right. You think it's Taiwanese? Okay. Right. So what are you guessing? Taiwanese ball roll do long, want to give any names? I'm going to, I'm going to throw out Dong Ding. Dong Ding, okay. Yeah, the sweetness. You ready for the answer? There you go. Ooh. Reveal, guess, guess the, the tea. tea. Seeping Chang Tong. So actually, you're all, you know, um, it's good because you, you got a, a traditional ball rolled oolong. Actually, Dong Ding and all of those ones are pretty close because they don't make Chuen Tongs anymore oh. or very, very rare. That's an example of a traditional Tie Guan Yin. Mm. Oh, wow. What do you think of it? Thoughts? How does it differ to, uh, to a, a green... Yeah. High it's aroma. Less floral. It's much less yeah. floral, it's quite less mineral. green, yeah. mineral, and, and like the roasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
It's like a dessert. Like yeah. A cake. It's got a really it's sweet high. finish. Oh, like it, spongy well. cake. Spongy, mm. for sure. Mm. Really nice. It's a shame they don't make these anymore, or very few. Oh, so really? it was a slightly mm. trick question. Well, this is all from my <laughs> private collection, so it's, everything's going to be everything's going to be a bit off the wall, right? Mm. Okay, setting the standards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is game one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So the next challenge is going to be which tea is <clears throat> older. Ooh, this is good. Oh, no. So this is A. Okay. And this is B. Why? So, there you go. First of all, what tea is it? This is a white, white tea. tea. Mm -hmm. Aged white tea. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal here is to figure out which one of these is the older tea. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is greener. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, I have no idea. This All right, is hard. go for it. No Brew them up. Okay. Taste is everything. Oh, whoa! It has changed. Complete transformation. Wow! Oh, oh my man. God. Okay, so eight. That's eight. That's so good. <laughs> so good. It's like yeah. It smells like old books. Yeah. Real old paper. Mm. Very fine old paper though. Mm -hmm. Oh, pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like apricots. Mmm, apricots. Mm, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> apricot jam and paper and pancakes. <laughs> and <the> pancakes. <laughs> Sounds good for breakfast. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know which spice, but something in a curry. Ooh. I don't know which one, and I can't remember what it's called. Clove? Maybe, maybe clove. Kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow, kind of yeah. Or something. Yeah, mm. dusty spices. <laughs> yeah, dusty spices. <laughs> oh, man, that's... Got a dusty spice in your curry. <laughs> <laughs> like drumstick lollipops? Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, like Ribena chews, <laughs> like very gum, like... Hard, uh, hard gums, I don't know how to describe it. Like something that's very, very chewy, gummy, but slightly hard as well. Like if you ever remember having Frutella or anything like that, so it's kind of very fake fruit mm, juice, artificial. sweets, yeah, artificial, <laughs> but. Cheers. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, wow, that's good. Mm. I can see why this is in a private collection. <laughs> this is very elegant. Very. The flavor is so rich and so full that it hits the tongue and then goes straight to the roof of the mouth and covers everything. Mm. So much, still sweetness now. Mm. It so much sweetness. It's very lubricating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super juicy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's juicy. It's like, it's it is juicy. like biting into like a, an apple. Yeah. <laughs> a really juicy apple. It's, it's juicy. <laughs> it's juicy. It's juicy. <laughs> juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wow. empty gut smell. I haven't got there yet. I don't want to. I don't oh, want to. <laughs> I should have picked a bigger cup. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really different. Yes. Kind of mental. Yes. Yeah. Lighter. Much mm. lighter. Mm. The same, texture is lighter too. The same well. color liquor, mm -hmm. but this one has more oily, oily texture and almost the powderiness in it. Shall I show the, the liquors to the camera? This A we're saying is slightly more oily. But it's hard to see now I put them in front of the lights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, you got a point on three. Three, two, one. You're all going for A to Yay. be the older one. Why is that? Much, mm. much more sweeter. Yeah. yeah, sweetness. Sweetness, yeah. And also the texture. Mm, and yeah. fermented kind of. Yeah. yeah. And just a general, it was a lot longer and more complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it lingers longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Lingering. This is 
really good though still yeah it's very, yeah <laughs> and i prefer this yeah. yeah all right they're in front of you okay okay is that the one okay. yeah so oh should we show the camera yes one two, two three, three. Ta -da! okay i don't know if you can see oh the... wait <laughs> oh! Wrong. No, no, no. Right. But it's only six years, isn't it? Is it is only six years. Oh. <laughs> we are only off by six years. Well, yeah. <laughs> you keep I love two your faces. Years. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so losers. So they're both show One's 2015, one's 2009. And mm -hmm. it goes to show one thing, mm -hmm. because I actually absolutely agree with you. I prefer the 2015 to the 2009. Mm -hmm. But it goes to show that age is not everything. Okay. Yes. The, the quality they... of the leaf means 90%, the aging is that extra 10%. Mm -hmm. So that 2009 one is good, it's alright, it's kind of interesting, but it doesn't have the depth and sweetness and thickness of the 2015. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what that 2015 one is going to be like in another Ooh. six years mm -hmm. time. Wow. See you in six years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so now we move on yeah. to the next challenge, which is a very, very simple one. It's yeah. which tea is more expensive? Ooh. Oh. Here we go. A and B, black teas. Your goal is to choose the more expensive one. Mm. Right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. These are much glossier, no? The leaves? Yeah, bigger and these are a bit more matte. I can see the hair. And, and this is gold and black. Mm -hmm. and this, this is, is like green. green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you know which type of tea it is? Is it ginger and me? It oh is ginger my and gosh! Oh my God. Ginger and May, one of the most expensive teas in the world. It's so rosy. Does that mean it's a great tea? Have you tried ginger and May before? No. No. None of you have tried ginger and May before. Okay, so you've got two ginger and Mays in front of you. It's like. It's like Lil Tong Mu. Mm. It's like the unsmoked lap sayings with the chocolate, uh, fruit and nut chocolate. So the sweetness of chocolate, but with the raisins. Mm. And I guess the kind of, with like the edge of the nuts. Oh, and a little bit milky too. It also smells like that, like that um, salty crisps, remember? From the black tea? <laughs> yeah, it was from Ruby Black. Ruby Black. Yeah. Mm. It smells like a crisp. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Salty That's crisps. much more mentally, right? That one. I still get the tomato juice mm. though. Yeah. Tomatoes can be quite sweet. Yes. They're a fruit. What's that one saying? Um, oh, knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> salty crisps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely ready salted. Mm -hmm. yeah. No brand names intended. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, so salty crisps and chocolate and raisins. <laughs> okay. That's like a proper like middle school lunch box. <laughs> Oh! Mm -hmm. I still get the crisps. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Some like lavender? Really? No? Oh wow, this is much more savory. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that that's crisps. <laughs> Isn't it? That is so potatoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chunky crisps. Yeah, <laughs> like really like ready Natural. to be fried. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and you're right, lavender, like opening yeah. the door, like right. lavender top note. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Bye. Cheers, kappa. Skal. Skal. <laughs> oh. Ooh, wow. That goes right down the sides, mm. and it's almost sour. Well, it is sour. I still get that potatoiness. Yes, like with the yes, I got it too. Rosemary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roast potatoes. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oily. Oh, so oily. Much more of almost like a that. Pe pepper, like black pepper. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And less sour. Less Not sour. sour at all. Yeah. I think I know the answer. <laughs> you can lead us on this one because I, I don't know this tea at all. What do you think, Sarah? What do you think? You think this one? Yeah. It's more complex, no? Mm-hmm. It is. The burst this of flavor is was much more mm-hmm. intense. Yeah. And it finishes quick. Yeah. Very quick. It doesn't linger, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that A is more expensive? Yes. Unless it's a trick question, another okay. trick question. I don't do trick questions. Oh. The tea does everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. But. Just a quick sip of B. Yeah, definitely. This is oilier, though. Yeah, the but. texture is, yes. Mm. But it doesn't have that much of taste. Mm. It doesn't It doesn't hit you in the same no. way that it does. And I don't think that's a brew because they're both of a similar time, same yeah. mm-hmm. tea well. Uh, Okay, so what agree. are we saying? Mm. Could agree a is more expensive. A, a is I will more tell expensive. you how much. Well, check out how much B is first. Oh no! Da 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 One dollar twenty gram. We're talking about twelve dollars for ten grams of that tea, or a hundred twenty dollars for a hundred grams of tea. Okay. Check out A. To 40. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I got it right. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, Jin Jin Mei, probably the most overpriced tea in the world, <laughs> right? Yeah. Is it worth that money? It's good, but. It's good, but. I it's... just want to give it a try again, because mm. this is only the first infusion. Yeah, vision. first infusion. Mm. I think it depends how far it goes in yeah. brew time, but to me, like, it's... Sushong liquor. Maybe it's a little bit better the first try. Yeah, I, I don't think it's more agree with you. <laughs> I quite like this one, mm. but then I don't know if it's gonna like develop or not. Yeah, right. So yeah. I can't say it. On well, first try, mm-hmm. I, I, it's, it's too not, sour for me. Yeah. I, think. I really like subtle. that, but yeah, it wasn't mind blowing. Now you got your last challenge to go, and that challenge is double trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, two teas, you don't know which ones they are. Celine's going to brew them up, she's going to mix them together, and you need to tell me what the two types of tea are. Okay, they're not May Leaf tea, so just give me the type. Okay, blindfolds on. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh, it's brewed strong. <laughs> oh, this is a roasted oolong in there. Ooh. Wait. Mm. So it's got like a hojicha roastiness. Oh, yeah, mm. maybe it's yeah. Mm. And puer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, pu'er. yeah. Mm. That raw edge to it. Mm. But I'm getting like the empress oolong or something. Yeah, oh. that's yeah. I think the roastiness is not from hojicha but from men. And Prasuna. It could be wrong though. You might be that that it's yeah. Oh, it's got I like, mean, Hajit is really roasty, isn't it? Mm, mm. It's got really menthol. Stop it now! Oh, you want some tea? Oh, want yeah. some tea? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's tasty. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cutie. You can take your blindfolds off now. <laughs> This roastiness is definitely from roasted oolong. Mm-hmm. Roasted yeah. oolong and the raw dryness from, yeah. uh, from a the raw pu'er. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're saying a roasted oolong and a raw pu'er. Mm-hmm. Can I see? Yancha! And C and N P yellow mo I'm guessing that's a, a poor cake. It's, it's a poor really cake, but it's a cooked poor cake. Oh. Ah, yeah. 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 Take a look at the leaves. Okay. No that's way. Your... Oh, la. Okay, oh, yeah. that's the that have a little sniff. Yeah. Oh my god, that's So what you have here, you've got Oh yeah, a... this is the menthol. Mm-hmm. You've got a really interesting coffee yencha. That one, yeah. Which is a really Ooh. interesting yencha yeah. which we picked up. Which has got kind of coffee notes to it. They call it coffee yencha, and then you've got a really, really famous CNNP is the is the brand yellow mark cake, 
And that oh, is... Oh, that's mm. beautiful. That's, that's so stunning. Good. Hello, everybody. Hello. Well, you guys did pretty good. Did really they were well. quite difficult challenges, I have to say, that I gave to you. Some great teas, some overpriced teas, but you know, there's uh, any favorites? Uh, the white tea. The white tea? Yeah, yeah. the white tea was good. Yeah, the, the A. The, the A, A. Yeah. 2015, yeah. right, well there you go. So, you guys out there, you can win all the teas that they tried, but we'll tell you how to enter that competition very, very soon. Now, we've got one last challenge for you guys, and this is should we stock this tea for May Leaf challenge? Da, da, da. So we stumbled upon this aged pu'er tea, it's fine. This aged pu'er tea, this is supposedly oh. about 15 years old. We were um, presented this tea by a friend in China who said that he doesn't know anything about it. We know nothing about it, which is very rare for a May Leaf uh, tea candidate. But he assures me that it's 15 years old, it looks old. I mean, check that out. That looks old, mm -hmm. right? So 15 years old and um, we know nothing. But I did taste it um, yesterday or no, two days ago and I really thought it was interesting. So I thought I will bring it to the panel. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to shift and sell this stuff. Oh, how much have you already had done? Well, yeah. <laughs> one tasting, I don't know. When I, do, <laughs> when I do a session, I do a session, as you will find out. So, uh, let's give this a smell and let's give this a taste. And now I want you guys to be totally honest. I am not sold on this tea yet, right? So you guys need to tell me whether or not you think we should stock it for Mayleaf. These all get a nice dousing. Boom. Right. Ooh. We wow. are going. Going for it. Without the pick and everything. Oh, oh smile. Yeah. In your hands. <laughs> what kind of style is that? <laughs> Farmer style. This is, uh, <laughs> this is called... Uh, <laughs> oh, rustic. Style. Yeah, rustic, rustic style. style. Rustic style. Enough? Yeah. Okay. A little bit more? A little bit more. A little bit more. You guys have a little Yeah, okay. Go on. No, no, right. Right. Let's go on. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I get it. It's only, it's only around <laughs> midnight. It's fine. Like. So what are you getting? Cocoa beans and like coffee beans. Uh -huh. Coffee, cocoa. Mm. Yeah, but it's creamy as well. Mm. Creamy coffee cocoa, that mm. sounds pretty good. Mm. Yeah, that mm. sounds good, yeah. Go for it, Will. Yeah, okay. Will. Your expert knows. <laughs> yeah, oh, so creamy. Yeah, isn't mm. it? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, and the age as well, it's really nice funk to it. Do you smell the age? Yeah, you can, definitely. Yeah. Does it have funk? Yeah. Oh, creamy funk. <laughs> creamy <laughs> funk! Oh, it's, it's like a Bob James tea. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, there's a 70s bass line going on in there. Oh, yeah, that's just it's slapping it. It's slapping it. It's got definite creamy notes. It's got that real forest floor note to it yeah. as well. Real autumn leaves going on. Mm, autumn um, leaves, for sure. And the fruit is like um persimmon. <laughs> Boom. You know it's not that's not too far off actually. Oh, really? oh. I was gonna say it's 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 almost it's quite a light fruitiness. It's not um as in it's not like cherry or plum or prune. It is more of a juicier mm. it's kind of like lighter a, fruit. It's a zest of a fruit. Like if you have oranges out, orange when you peel the orange and leave oh, it out. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. what so we've got that we've got that mulled <laughs> mulled <laughs> orange. <laughs> That's Ayaka's tasting like for everything. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Once you get stuck on a tasting note, you can't let yeah, it go. Yeah. Yeah. Like you and your salted crisps. Oh okay. Crisps. Oh. Right. <gasps> Texture. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. I love that reaction. Instant oh, powerhouse, <laughs> wow. right? What's the reaction? Oh, yeah. 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 The fermentedness. Yeah. Yeah. It has a For strong, sure. real kick to it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. Kicks like a mule, this one. <laughs> Oh, God, in unison. Is the tea drunk one, huh? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's wait, wait, wait. We'll do it again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mm -hmm. That's that true. bitterness. It's very thick. It's got a real mm. cooling um, bitterness. So it's bitter, mm. but also quite cooling through the nose. When I breathe out, mm. I'm getting sort of eucalyptus notes and things like that. That mm. those those sorts of notes. But it's not in the front of no. the taste. It's like no. after you yeah. swallow. Yeah. Mm. That it's, medicinal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. It's definitely got some camphor medicinal stuff happening. Definitely. And there's an interesting contrast happening between. Mm thick and smooth and then mm. you get this kick mm. and then you get cooling it's mm. like a very interesting um mix, mix. Oh, curry oh, curry, <laughs> curry, leaves. curry leaves curry leaves i can get curry leaves in it but it's like dry in the front and in the back it's kind of like oh, lubricating well, yeah, yeah. No? Mm, yeah. Mm. so you're getting a, a weird wow. dichotomy yeah. of um, yeah. of textures yeah mm -hmm. very it's dry, dry right in the front and right here the tip of the tongue yeah, yeah. it's true mm. It's really dry. It's definitely oh. got, you know, when you um, suck on or you, you have a, a piece of orange mm -hmm. and, and then you get some of that zest oil, you know, that oh, yeah. just mm. goes in your yeah. mouth and it's, yeah. it gives it this sort of texture mm -hmm. in your mouth of slightly dry, but that then pithiness. a little bit pithy, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but also very juicy as well because mm -hmm. it's got that orange zestiness oh, to it. Thank you, Celine. Yeah, I'm good. definitely getting a lot of orange coming through. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, it reminds yeah. me of orange. a little bit of like pendulum medlar mm. 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 in that sense. Yeah, blood orange. It's a very satisfying, mm. satisfying brew, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't leave you hanging. It, it gives you, cinnamon. it gives oh. you a lot. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So oh, Christmas Once yeah. again, Christmas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is so unintentionally, <laughs> it's unintentionally a mulled tea. Mm. But it yeah. does, it has cinnamon, it has clove, yeah. it has orange, yeah. it has, um, yeah. it has some, some sort of, um, or it just has an autumnal <laughs> autumn taste to it, doesn't it? It's like the mulled wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The version. Yeah. And it does have medicinal notes to it mm. as well. Like um, a little bit of Chinese herbal note going mm. on. It's a really well balanced mm. aged tea. Quite sweet as well in the mm -hmm. aftertaste, like it just lingers. Yeah, the aftertaste yeah. is long. It definitely has good sweetness around the sides of the tongue. Mm. But very different to a young poor yes. sweetness. Yeah. You know, which is a little bit more saccharine. This is a little bit more honeyed in its sweetness. Mm, it's a yeah. little bit more like cough syrup. Is that kind of mm, yeah. age, do you think? Yeah, that's age. Look mm. at that. I mean, the that's color. Crazy color yeah. You are going to get so many infusions. And I love the way the kind of orange turns to slight green note mm -hmm. at the base of the. Oh, the Gondabe, yeah. The Gondabe. Yeah. It's really, really interesting. Cool. Any it more for like any more? Gradient. Okay. So, everybody, I am not sold to this tea. I do not need to purchase it, but... Thank you very kind. Can I smell the lid of this? You can do whatever you need to do to make a judgment. Right, just, while they are judging, I like this. in order to win yeah. the teas that they tasted... Yeah. It's, it's hold on, hold on, hold on. In order to win the teas that they tasted, what you need to do is write in the comment section of this video, write about your first revelation of true tea. In other words, that moment, that one pivotal moment where you really entered into true tea. That revelation is what we all love at Mayleaf. That's what makes us tick. That's what we enjoy seeing in our clients when they come in and they mm -hmm. see that moment where the light bulb goes off. What was your revelation of true tea? Let us know in the comments section below. We're going to be giving three prizes, three prize winners, all of the teas that have been tasted tonight. And these guys here are going to select their favorite ones. So Will, Sayaka and Svala are going to select their winners from the comments. We'll make a selection probably more towards the kind of middle to end of January. So you have time to get your comments in. Stick them in the comments section below. Your revelation of true tea, make them good, and they will pick you as a winner. All right, guys, yes or no to this tea? I'm not going to say anything because I really know oh, what Oh, that's thinking. really tough because Three, Stream Seeker two, is really <laughs> good. Yeah. And I feel like it hasn't, it hasn't got old yet. Yeah. So this 
this might be running head too quick. Mm. Are you thinking that it's going to be one. too similar? It's quite. I I find it quite similar. I would love to try it in Yixing. Yeah. Yeah. To round it off a bit. Yeah. And see what it does True. to the body. All right, the get team. it up there. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Impressive Picky. tea collection going on. All right, we're gonna <laughs> you give this a rinse. The, yeah, I know. The liquor through. Is that what you're gonna I'm do? I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Ah. So we're just gonna give this a little warm up. That's <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, the pancake one. one. There's a pancake <laughs> issue. Yeah. What do you think of this, guys? Do you oh, like this? I really thing? like that. Yeah, we're debating. We're about debating it. about whether or not to get these in. Yeah. Can you get that one, but yeah. a bit yeah. smaller? It's so get it like really <laughs> small, <laughs> like a cute size. It's size. true. Actually, a lot of people want like. Everyone a wants small. small I know. Thing. It's yeah. crazy the texture. It's like you know. Have you ever put like pill, a pill on your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't see tomorrow. Like, <laughs> you said that a bit too quick. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh my god, I threw a tea on your mouth. It's like <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> There's like that much friction yeah. between your tongue and your mm. um, the roof of your mouth. Yeah. As much as when you take it. That, that's the medicine in this. Yeah. Yeah. A paracetamol. It definitely has a medicinal <laughs> note. I know what you yes. mean, like, totally. It does have it, mm, for sure. Super I love that mm. cooling note to it, though. It's got a really... And that's the difference between this and, streak, and seem, yeah. uh, Stream Seeker. <laughs> is that Stream Seeker is just all about heat. Yeah. Yeah. It's really roasty, toasty, hot mm -hmm. heat. Mm -hmm. You know, this one has that warmth it's got pendulum meddler warmth, mm -hmm. but then it has this kind of cooling... Yeah. When I breathe really in cool. and out of my mouth, I really feel like it's kind of opening up my lungs and it feels yeah. very, very clean. Yeah. It does feel quite medicinal, for sure. Mm -hmm. hmm? Did you put it in the yeah. nipple? This went through okay. clay. <laughs> Let's see very if it's any cute. different. Oh, oh. Mm. super thick wow. now. Yeah, that's much thicker. And it's much, much thicker. Bitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it's so much yeah. nicer. Yeah. Rounded. Oh, I like it. The That's like mint imperials. It's really cooling. It's this is what I'm saying. It's got mm -hmm. such minty. You always hear about oh this God. in Pua. This minty hui gan. This minty yeah. cooling. For me, this That's is crazy. like I've taken a mint and I've yeah. literally. I feel like I'm breathing in that minty air. I love yeah. that mintiness in it. Mm. All right. So yes or no. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, we're going to follow whatever you say. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, we're going to follow whatever you say. This is the, the strange democracy that is they made at Christmas more, time. Can they? No, you need, you need to vote and Selena and I are we, not able to vote. Uh, so it's you guys, we there will be a majority. Uh, um, I don't know, but it doesn't yeah. matter. This is, a, is the tea good enough in its own right to be called a May leaf tea? Whoa. Starting Whoa. with... Spun. No. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Would you like? Yeah. Yes or no? Is this tea a May leaf tea? If you had the tea shop, would you buy it? <laughs> if I had a tea shop, would I buy it from the tea shop? Mm. That's a difficult question. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've got one yes. One yes. Yes. Oh. Two yeses. So the deal oh, is that done. Is, yes. <laughs> the deal is done. Well, it's interesting. Because I, I personally, I think I would have said no. Oh. Okay, why would you have said no? Um, I think that the Pua collection we have at the moment ha is a, a, an amazing range. Mm -hmm. I think w what I like about this tea is already covered by so many of that stuff, especially because Pendulum Medlar now, if you try it now, oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. really medicinal and it's yeah. aged really nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. This, I think again, yeah, I'd have to sit with it some more, but I'd love for you guys to try it at home. 
Well, the only way you can do that is by it's stopping it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like we want everyone to try every tea. We don't have smell of vision. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a mainly tea. It doesn't. It, it's not making me go wow like all the rest of Pua cakes have done. Okay. I, yeah. Well, I mean, you're outvoted, Will. Yeah, I know. I'm you're outvoted. I, there's more tea. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I like the I you know what? Do you yeah. remember Murray yeah. Mints? It's really yeah, mm. it's Murray Mints. Yeah. It's just straight up Murray Mints. It's it like is. toffee and mint. Mm -hmm. How can you say that's not great? Mm. <laughs> I don't I, I don't really like Murray Mints. You don't much. like Murray Mints? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that makes sense. What would yeah. you have said anyway? I would have said yes. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Chances are this cake is going to be seeing its way to Mayleaf at some point if we can uh, if we can do the deal. Um, we're gonna, I don't know the price actually, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's I think that's way more important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's important to make the decision first before okay. you know yeah. the price. Try that's the point. It, yeah, sure. exactly. But if it's like ridiculously expensive, then... Well, then, then I won't go for it. But I do think it's a really interesting tea and it's not yeah. often that you get a, a 15 year old tea. I don't know the age of the tea trees, but it's the taste definitely yeah. has this really nice for me, nice rounded taste mm -hmm. of like some fruits, some mm. forest floor, some mm. citrus fruit, mm. and then that minty creaminess mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, I yes. really, really think that that's if, good. If it's aged well now, doesn't that mean that it's going to keep aging well? Yeah, it should do. London aged, London stored. We'll <laughs> yeah. see. See what they're, they're like when they come round. Okay, so you know how to win the uh, prizes. Stick in the comments your revelation for True Tea, that moment that changed your tea drinking experience. These guys will pick a winner. For now, we're going to say goodbye to Swala, Hi. Sayaka, Will, and of course, Celine. Bye. That's it, see here. If you made it to this video, then make sure you hit it with a like. Follow us on all of our socials so you don't miss out on any news and videos from Mayleaf HQ. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, then please fire them over. Other than that, this is the crew. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags. Keep drinking the good stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye. Bye.